Hey, what's up? James at BIM World, and I'm in the BIM World shop, and it's the shop in winter. It's projects going on. We're building a couple of new cars. We've got our race cars undercover in hibernation. We're doing some work on the race cars. In general, these things are going to just kind of live here for a little bit. Same applies to the car in your garage. You know, it's your summer car, it's your fun car. The worst thing for a battery is sitting around without driving the car, and it just sits there and drains. Maintainers, super important. So, Optima has a new maintainer slash charger, the new digital 200 plus. So I'm gonna show you this piece. I think it's pretty awesome. Cool features in these Optima chargers because they're the best in the market and, and they work hard to add technology to make them better to support the Optima battery line. So instructions, you're gonna throw these away, but read the instructions. It has cool stuff in here. This charger has features that you'll learn about in here. Also, couple of brackets, mounts it to the wall. Pretty cool for me, for my house, I have these mounted on the wall beside the car so I can plug them in pretty easily and let the car just live there. And when it's time to take it out in the spring, I don't have a dead battery. So this is the new digital 200 plus charger. We'll run through this in a little bit. Additional pieces that come with it, wall mount bracket, you mount it with those anchors and some cables. So this charger comes with kind of this universal port that attaches to one of these cables or like I bought a, an OBD2 charger cable and I plug it in to that OBD2, put it in the OBD2 port super easy. Um, so for a BMW or other cars, that's a, that's a great way to trickle charge a battery or maintain a battery. This cable, something new, this is for the Optima lithium batteries, uh, the orange tops that are, that are on the way out. This will be pretty cool if you have one of those, plugs directly into that Optima lithium battery. But if you don't have one of those, we have a couple other options. One with the specific terminals, like BMW batteries are buried. Like I don't wanna have to unbury my battery every time. So I, I install these permanently in the car and tuck them away. And then I have just the little port sticking out, um, which I then plug my maintainer in and super, super easy, or this is kind of the more standard alligator clips, uh, also plugs into the universal port, the typical way to charge a battery. So we've got our drift car project here, Optima battery, of course. Now this thing's set for a year or so, great demo piece. Nice packaging on this charger, everything kind of ties up nice and easily. So power cord, charging cord, and this is the new clean packaging for that Optima Digital 200 Plus charger. And we're up and running, live. So a couple of things on this, it's, this will be the battery percentage. It'll tell you what your charge state is on the battery. Some connection features that we'll talk about once we get this thing connected. So I'm gonna plug in the universal alligator clip type connectors. So these things are live, something pretty cool no spark technology in this charger. Not only am I not sparking these when I, when I run them together, when I plug them in, and I'm gonna plug them in backwards. So I'm putting my positive charge to the negative post and vice versa. And this thing says, oh, hey, red light. You don't have it plugged in right. And I'm not messing up my battery. I'm not doing anything bad to it, so. <laughs> Sensational. Another cool feature you know, kind of protect you from yourself. So I'll switch this thing around, plug it in the right way. Now this is a digital 200, 200 plus, but that 200 means it's a two amp charger. It's really a trickle charger meant to be a maintainer. If I needed to charge a battery of this size fully, it would take a couple few days with this two amp charger. So we do have a new digital 400 plus and a 1200 plus coming. Digital 200 plus, two amp, 400, four amp, 1200, 12 amp. Uh, which are bigger, higher amperage chargers. So this is really intended for, for storage, but it gets the job done if you need to charge a battery or bring it back from, from dead. And also worth mentioning, you know, this is a charger. The alternator on your car is not a charger, and it's, not, it's certainly not a maintainer when you're storing your car. So you really need to charge your battery and not think that the alternator is going to do all the work for you. That's, that also shortens the life of the battery. So their alternators are great at maintaining, but if a car sits, you need to have it on some sort of maintainer or charge it up on occasion. So now that I have plugged this in correctly, 
I get a green light. Uh, this thing is measuring um, what my state of charge is, and then it'll do its thing. Hang this thing on the wall. When I get this thing out, when it's ready to go drifting, when we get the car built, the battery will be good to go. So this does charge all types of batteries. So the old traditional flooded lead acid, AGMs, which there's a lot of those out there, including all Optimas, most Optimas are AGM. And of course, then the new Optima, which is the orange top lithium batteries or other lithium batteries, which you know, for BMW owners, some of the new cars are coming with lithium batteries. And this is a maintainer that will work on that factory lithium battery as well. All in one package, nice little piece, nice and clean, hangs on the wall. All the stuff is included and available on the BIM World website. Uh, check us out, check the links below, product links for this thing. 100 bucks, 100 bucks with a lot of technology packed in here. That's a pretty sweet deal. You ready to kill? Should be an awesome race weekend. We are ready to kill it this year. It's good. It's gonna be a wild ride.